Hey everybody, I've got another walkthrough Wednesday for you without somebody up here in front of the camera. We are just so busy and with running uh, split shifts or split staff because of our COVID uh, precautions, I get caught a lot where I don't have anybody to be in front of the camera. But that's okay, that's okay. I can give you guys a nice detailed walkthrough of this Montana 3760 FL, which stands for Front Living. Uh, let's talk first about the new exterior. So what's cool is, is it does have a real similar look and feel to the Montana high countries. Okay, so that's a high country. This is just a regular Montana. I say regular Montana, there's really nothing regular about a Montana. So anyway, new look and feel. So I think it's really sharp. I love this blue color that they're using. Very sharp. You'll see that we have two slides on the camp side. We do have one, actually two, uh, really big awnings that cover the front since you've got the camp side slides. So we've got the smaller uh, awning back there, larger awning there, okay? Other side of the camper, we have three slides. So this is a big camper. I'll check the weight when I get around to the other side. I didn't look before the start of the video. I'll show you guys the pass-through storage, massive pass-through storage, as well as all your connectors. So you'll see here, we've got an exterior shower. We've got our winterization system in here. What's nice is you can do your water heater bypass. You can do your winterization all from right here, which is great. This also does have tank flush, which is nice. Sanitation and your battery disconnects. So everything is done like right here, which is awesome. And you have this little thing here, you unscrew so you can run all your hoses and tubes and pipes and all that down through here. And you'll be able to close this access port. You also have a good deal of storage back here at the back. And I mean a lot, you do have an additional uh, access point back there at the back, two on the other side and two on this side. So, I mean, you can basically take everything with you that you need to take. This does have a ladder, so it is a fully walkable roof. It is also rear camera prepped. The uh, walkable roof is nice, makes it super easy to go up there and check on the state of your roof, as well as clean it, which you should do a few times a year. Solid steps. I've talked a lot about these in the past, but I do love them. Uh, they're just more stable for getting up and down in the camper. They're also great for pets. I've got a couple of short-legged corgis and they work great for them. This camper weighs, let's see if I can find it quickly without boring you guys. Uh, unloaded vehicle weight is 14,020 pounds. 14,020 pounds. So it is a heavy camper. This is a front living model. So we're gonna start up here at the front. You'll see we have theater style seating that does recline. It also has massage and heat built into it. We have cup holders. Then if we sit down here, cause it's nice and comfortable, you'll see that we have two couches, one on each side. Those do fold out to beds, which is awesome. Directly in front of me, we have our large fireplace. That is a gas fireplace, no. It is an electric fireplace, so you don't have to worry about using your gas, is what I was trying to say. Uh, that's nice. Take the chill out of the early mornings or the evenings, especially if you're camping early in the season or even late in the season. That big area there, you do have a TV that will roll up. So you can put it down if you want to enjoy the nice view, or you can roll it up, have your TV. This does have the quiet cool system in it, so you're not going to have to turn the volume up real loud on the TV or yell to talk to each other. Uh, one of our followers on Facebook made the comment yesterday that it kind of sucks because now he can hear his wife, so he can't claim to not be able to hear her when she tells him something. Pretty funny. They do have charging ports here also, USB charging ports. There is storage on both sides of your entertainment area, which is nice. We come down into the kitchen area. This does have a residential sized refrigerator. Actually, it's a massive refrigerator. Then we have this little nook area right here that does have a connector for a TV. So you can have a TV there or you can put your Keurig, your margarita maker, whatever you want. Really cool 
uh, job that they've done on the new colors this year. I really love the colors of the Montana, uh, including the ceiling. And I'm sure you saw it a little while ago, but the floor. Anyway, we'll carry on. We have our three burner stove. We have a full size microwave. Lots and lots of cabinets. You do have a freestanding island with like a 70-30 sink with a detachable sprayer. You do have storage below. We have our freestanding dinette that uh, has chargers over here or has a charger over here, which is pretty cool. You can hide that. I love this because you've got these big windows right here so you can sit and have breakfast, lunch, dinner, people watch, whatever you want to do. Some additional storage here, and you have a half bath here. What's really cool about that, I've talked about that a lot. If people need to go to the restroom, while they're at your campsite, they don't have very far to go to traipse in and out of your camper to use the restroom. That cuts down on dirt, foot traffic, so on. Moving up, we're coming into the bedroom. We do have a king bed with storage under the bed. We have charging ports and uh, regular power on both sides of the bed. We do have a really nice size closet here. And this closet has washer dryer prep in the corner. Spinning around without making anybody sick. Directly across from the bed, we have our drawers. We have some additional storage there to the right and we have our TV in here. So you can actually come back to the bedroom, relax and chill, watch TV. One of the things I love about this one, I love the front living, but I also love this bathroom. Check out this bathroom. So you do have a sit down shower, which I absolutely love. You also have dual sinks, which is nice. You have storage below both and you each have your own medicine cabinet. So you guys don't have to fight over who's doing what or where it is. And then you've got a spot to store your linens, your various toiletries and such there. So there you have it. A brand new floor plan. Absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you.